Good afternoon and welcome to Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. WSN brings you a non-conference matchup between a pair of teams having really fine years. Alima Central Catholic Thunderbirds and the Elida Bulldogs. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to be play-by-play alongside the Newark Color Commentary, Mr. Jerry Snodgrass. Jerry, let's talk about LCC a little bit. Started out 11-0. They've had two tough losses recently, but a really fine basketball team. A very fine basketball team. And I know we as coaches never, you know, we never like to say a loss is good. I mean, we don't. I mean, you go in every game to win. Sometimes, though, when you're looking back on those, those things are, are the things that are the building blocks for better down the road. I read all the time about coaches, and, and I think LCC is one of those, that you look at that and say, well, you know, we just need to keep getting better and better and better because tournament time. But sometimes you need to take a step back to take two forward. And I think that's where LCC is. And last night, they played a Spencerville in a really fine matchup. They lost by two, but they had two guys just go off. Carson Parker had 24, as did Jordan Pretty. Two really fine scores. Yeah, and you know, too, <laughs> I think one of the best things you can say when you're a basketball coach is you take a tough loss on a Friday night. You don't have to wait a week. Uh -huh, that's right. You get to come back the next day and, and make amends. Uh, let's look at LCC's starting lineup. They will go with number zero, Jordan Pretty. He's a 6'2 sophomore, averaging 16.7. Willie Foster wears number one. He's a 6'1 sophomore, averaging 12.6. Carson Parker wears numbers, uh, number two, 6'4", senior, averaging 8.6 and 5.5 rebounds. Five is DeMar Foster. He is a 5'10", senior, averaging 7.6. And Billy Burke wears number 14. He is a 6'6", senior, averaging 6.8 and 5.6 rebounds. And let's talk about Matt Taylor's team at Elida. They were really rolling along. They are 9-3 and three on the season, but a really tough overtime loss last night to Salina. You know, kind of that same thing coming off of a loss, but... I love the way Matt's teams play. They're tough defensively, fundamentally def fundamental defensively, and you know their work will be cut out for them. But you know, again, where he's got them playing, you know they'll rise to that, and I think that's a uh, makes this a great matchup tonight. And again, Jerry, less than 24 hours ago in this gym, tough loss, but you can to get back on the floor and redeem yourself. Yeah, absolutely, and I think you know too, uh, good athleticism by Elida too. I think you know they have good couple multi-sport athletes that understand the competition part. And, you know, you're home on a Friday afternoon. I'm sure we'll talk, or excuse me, Saturday afternoon. And we'll talk about that later on, too. But, again, a great matchup. The Elida starting lineup goes this way. Number zero, Zori Island. He is a uh, junior. He averages nine and a half points per game and four assists. Number one is Seth Sharp. He's a senior, averaging five and a half points per game. Number two, Parker Krim. He's a sophomore and a big man, averaging 4.3 and five rebounds. Number four, Amari Wash, a sophomore, averaging 12 a game. He also averages three assists and four rebounds. And number 31, David Escorn. David's a senior coming off a big night last night. He averages nine a game, but he had 21 last night in that loss to Salina. So Elida, they will be here with a 9-3 and three record. They're hosting Lima Central Catholic Thunderbird Tour 11-2. and two. We've got the tip-off coming up right after this. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Elida High School. It is Lima Central Catholic in their red uniforms and the Elida Bulldogs in white. And Jerry, three officials we know pretty well. We, Jeff Copeland, Daryl Phillips, and Kevin Catafias. Yep, long veteran officials out of the Toledo area. And uh, year in, year out, they'll have a state tournament game. And we are ready to play basketball here on this Saturday afternoon. It is Hall of Fame Day. We'll speak about that a little bit later as we get into this particular contest. They had a banquet here today, introduced three people, and uh, we'll talk about that as the game progresses. Billy Burke, Parker Krim, and it tucked into the backcourt. The ball goes to Zori Island. You know, we talked about this before, Mark, but, you know, in the half court, in the quarter court, you know, Eli is very patient on the offensive end and tries to get a good shot out of it. Also, will do their best to press and try to run with it. Wash tries to get to the rim. A little bit of a wild shot. Rebounded pretty. If tried to throw it ahead. Escorn ends up with it. A mad scramble for the basketball until Islands secures it. Elida averages 52.7 points per game. They give up 49.9. Lima Central Catholic averages 58 a game and gives up 45.1. Escorn to the rim, and Escorn goes ever, over everybody. Battle for the rebound. It ends up into the hands of DeMar Foster. Got a good shot. That little tough little touch shot right in there is very tough. Willie Foster for three, short. Wash with the rebound. He's off to the races in a hurry. To the rim he goes. 
That one also goes off the rim and Burke rebounds. Here's DeMar. Lob pass and it's tipped to me. <laughs> but unfortunately, I have no eligibility left, nor can I do anything with it. You know, Mark, it's interesting because I was talking earlier about, you know, one of the highlights I saw on this was uh, Willie Foster with an incredible dunk. Yes. You know, well, that's exactly what they tried there. But fortunately, you got in the way. Willie Foster looking for somebody to guard right now, and I think we're ready to play basketball. This is Amari Wash. No score yet. We're admitted into this one. That's corner to corner, heads baseline. Island for three, and the left hander rings it up. Yeah, he's a good three pointer on the year. Had a nice opportunity there, took it. Foster trying to get to the rim and cannot. Here's Burke posted up inside against Parker Krim. Backs him down, left-handed jump hook. Wow. That was pretty. Wow. You know, we saw that, you know, earlier uh, a couple weeks ago with a Cordonier kid out of Finley. That soft little baby hook shot. It's a lost art. Ball was stripped by Willie Foster, but Willie picks up the foul in that situation. His first team's first. You know, I really like Etzkorn on, the, you know, on both ends of the court. You know, we were talking mm -hmm. a little earlier. He's kind of in perpetual motion all the time, never slows down. That he is. One of the best running backs in the Western Buckeye League this year and plays football, plays basketball, kind of the same I'm mentality. Just say, all you have to do is take a look at him. Yep. You, you can tell he's a good running back. And the pass goes a little bit awry as Island couldn't connect with Etzkorn. Etzkorn's coming off a 21-point game. Last night against Salina, Zori Island, Amari Wash also had 14 apiece. Good games for them. Carson Parker, a big game last night. He had 24. So had this kid. Pretty to the rim. Soft shot, missed. Tip out. DeMar Foster, three ball. Boy, a lot of, lot of physical play underneath the basket, too, both ends. Short. The rebound came to DeMar, and there's a foul. See who that got assessed to. Or no, he was out of bounds, perhaps, wasn't he? You know, we said, you know, both teams are really going to look to run when they have the opportunity. And, you know, really, it's, it boils down to who's going to be under control when, you know, they, they dribble into traffic and everything. There's a left-handed wow. scoop shot in the lane. Zori Island's got five in the basketball game. And we're tied at five. Island dies on the floor, pitches it to a teammate. Head to Wash. He challenges Burke. Rebound pretty. Pace is frantic, Jerry. Pace is frantic, and they are going to let him play. A foul right there. Seth Sharp whacked him on the arm as he's headed to the rim. His first team's first. First sub is Jackson Kovalt. He wears 13 for Elida and is a senior. Burke posted up inside. And again, works and kicks it out. DeMar back to Burke, and it's stripped but fouled. Burke has incredibly good footwork on the inside. Zori Island with his first, and the free throw line goes Billy Burke. Point three for him. I'm going to guess Coach Powell is happy to see that. He got 24 out of two guys last night, but not much else scoring anywhere else. Just four total points from other players. So to see Burke with four points here early on in the game is probably a good thing. And playing well. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, you would look, you know, he he's, can be such a force inside, great footwork. And he really, you know, we all Steel. say inside first. Carson Parker to the rim. There's a foul before the shot or on the floor. I think, nope, called it on the floor. But you know what, right there, granted he did not get to the free throw line out, but you see how he drew the foul even when he was going up for it? Yep. Evan Jackson will replace Seth Sharp, who has now two fouls here in the quarter. Jackson's matched up with Carson Parker. That's a smooth three ball from Jordan sure Pretty. Only a sophomore. 
Coming off a 24-point game. Hot streak continues for him. Kovalt now. Kovalt, pull-up jumper, baseline, rattles around. Scrambled for the ball, and who hit it? It's going to go to LCC. Well, I'm really, I'm really impressed with the quick hands of every player on the floor for Elida. They just, you know, nothing's safe when you've got the ball. T-Birds bring in number four, Matthew Quatman. Matthew is a 5'10 junior. And who hit it? Looks like it's knocked out of bounds by Wash. Parker to inbound. 10-5, T-Birds halfway through quarter number one. Foster to the rim. Krim rebounds. Pass was behind Jackson. Parker heads the other way. This is Quatman who just entered a moment ago. Pretty another three look. Boy, is that smooth, Jerry. It is smooth, and I will tell you that the ball movement on that was equally as smooth. Absolutely. Elida has seen himself trail by eight with 3.42 to go in the first, takes a timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Our premier sponsor today for the Elida Bulldogs is John Stocker, DDS. Elida Bulldog providing dental care for high school sports fans. Jerry, the pace is frantic right now. Sometimes on a, a Saturday after a Friday, they start a little slow. Not today. You know, I think at this point in the season, too, kids want to get out and play. Yeah. You know, and you know what? As frantic as that pace is, just like in that last offensive possession, but great ball movement, people under control, and an open shot. Matt Taylor took the initial timeout of this basketball game. Our timeouts today are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future at 419-225-6067, or you can visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Scramble for the loose ball. Quatman comes away with it. Oh, whoa. There's a bit of sportsmanship yep. right there. Pretty made a great move, and Zori Island went flying over him. And I mean flying. And Zori picks up his second foul. That'll bring Epscorn back into the game. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls, and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. We appreciate them sponsoring our scoreboard today. Here's Pretty off a of screen. Pull-up jumper from 17. Rebound comes to Angelo Collins. Angelo's having a really fine year. Does his start, gets a lot of minutes, though. Great Ten job of getting that inside position on the offensive end, too. Koval, bounce pass, Krim. Spins in the lane, and he goes up. Missed it against Parker. Here's Collins again. And Carson Parker lost control of the basketball. It was a tough move for him. I thought he was, you know, I think he thought he was going to run into the official on that and kind of held up. Jordan Pretty has bounced in a two three-point field goals. Our three-point sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Wash to the rim, and he will make the basket and get an and one opportunity. I'll tell you, they're a hard team to press. You know, they I, are. I, whether passing or, or dribbling through it. But when you've got guards like that that can handle the ball like that, that's a tough thing. Carson Parker picks up his first foul. Amari Wash averages 12 a game, four rebounds, three assists, and a couple of steals. And is jet quick with the basketball and just picked up a foul because of it. Makes the free throw for his first points of the game today. Willie Foster gets to the rim and he will be fouled, I believe, by Evan Jackson. That is correct, Evan's first foul. Free throw sponsor today is Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lyme and Allen County for more than 100 years. With offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. 
both teams so hard to defend. You know, every player on that floor right now, Willie Foster on this one, able to just put the ball on the floor and go to the hole. Free throw, Willie Foster rattles out. Thanks to the good checkout, Etzcorn's able to secure the rebound off the floor. Koval gets a three look. Jackson Koval lights the lamp. Back in the game, Jerry. They're down four. Yeah, you know, great job that time, too, of just finding the open man. Pretty again for three. Guard that one. Wow. Koval spins into the lane and gets called for a travel. Carson Parker will re-enter. I'm not sure Purdy didn't get fouled that time with Koval up on him. He yeah. still knocked down his third three-point field goal sponsored by Lee's famous recipe chicken. The ball movement, though, is just phenomenal. T-Birds up by seven. This is Burke at the top of the circle. Pretty's loose on the wing again. Good check out that wow. time by Krim. You can see why he's a D1 player in football. You sure can. Koval rattles the rim in again. And he's got six in the quarter. Off the bench. That's his average six. He's made two three balls and got to his average already here in the first quarter. Burke posted up down low. Parker gets a look at three. Evan Jackson goes after the rebound. Right to the rim goes Wash. Rebound, Krim fights it back up. Koval battling, and Wash tips it in. You know, that offensive rebounding, yes, he gets the benefit of it. Krim gets the benefit, but just keeping the ball alive is so key. Willie Foster into the lane. Kick out to Jamar Foster, and Jamar nails it. He's got two threes in the opening quarter. Another Lee's famous recipe chicken splash. Etzcorn works the lane. Kovalt. And Wash comes and gets it. They want last out of the quarter, it looks like. Fast paced quarter, quarter Boy, it's been. Was it ever? Wash trying to turn the corner. Koval has it trip loose, strip loose. Clock's running down. Koval to the lane. Muscles up and it's called for a travel. Yeah. Tanner Roberts will enter, as will Matthew Quatman. Jackson Koval takes a break, and what a good quarter he's had. Yes, he has. Long three-point attempt at the buzzer. That was an exciting opening quarter. We've got eight minutes in the book. The Thunderbirds are up by five. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. John Stocker, DDS, is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. Jerry, I'd call that an exciting quarter. It sure was. You know, good ball movement, good defense, quick hands, and great shooting. Talking about great shooting, our three-point sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus. And in St. Mary's, call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Hey, that makes me hungry. The number of threes that we've had that quarter. You know what? My spouse said you're on your own for dinner tonight. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> yeah. I got an there idea. You go. I got an idea now. Here's Tamar Foster with a basketball. His team is up by five, early second quarter. Carson Parker. Pretty, who's got three of those three-point field goals, and now four. Another. He's got 12 already. He's got 12 on four. Lee's famous recipe uh, three-point shots. Battle for the rebound. Sharp battling for it. It comes out to Pretty. Crossover move. Now he just went to the wow. goal and scored. He is having a basketball game. <laughs> Holy cow. 
We're nine minutes into this. Jordan Pretty has got 14 points. And just like that, they open up the 10-point lead. Wash looks. He finds Roberts, who checked in right before the buzzer. At scoring, ball fakes, pull up from 17. Burke rebounds, outlet pass. Foster goes off glass, but will draw contact and get to go to the free throw line. That will be Amari Wash's first foul. And you know, I'm going to say this about both teams, but especially right now, LCC, we're closer to it, you know, and a lot of the movement, but they're just so good with their hands. Hand, You know, they catch everything, control their bodies so well, able to draw fouls when they really probably were a little bit off balance. Billy Foster makes a free throw. Our free throws today are sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Willie's probably happy to see that go in. Struggled last night. He's got a, now he's made two free yep. throws here. Going to feel better with the basketball in his hands the next time he has a shot opportunity. 12-point lead. Tiber's just exploded here to start the quarter. Head scoring's going inside. Island loses control to Parker. Here's Willie Foster right to the rim and scores. Now it's a 14 point game. Just so many weapons. Island deep three. Rebound Roberts. Tanner Roberts is in the books. <laughs> Stems the tide a little bit. And looks like Zori Island is going to pick up foul number three. That's a problem because he is yeah, so quick is. and athletic defensively, handles the ball. Looks like we're going to get uh, Mason Dayhill will replace Zori, and he might well be done for the opening half with about six minutes to go. So somebody's got blood. Looks like Quatman. And DeMar Foster will re-enter with that occurring. There we go. There's DeMar checking in to there we go. Yep. get that taken care of. Scoreboard Day is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Look at the zone. Pass goes awry and into the hands of Koval. He goes cross court. Washing shots challenged and we got a foul. We do. On Elida. Jackson yeah. Koval picks up his first. That would be the team's third of quarter number two. You know, we'll see if they stay in a zone here. We may see something uh, that they. It looks like Wash has blood on his uniform, which probably came off of that cut that Correct. that Quatman had a moment ago, and he's going to have to set and get his uniform taken care of. And with Island out with, uh, with with three fouls, that takes both of their perimeter guards out, the starting guards out. Right. They're right there to take care of him. Yep. Here comes Gabe Adcock into the game. Gabe's a junior. And just like that, Wash had his uniform washed, and he's all ready <laughs> yeah. to go. Elida trying some 2-3 zone. Damar Foster. Here's Burke inside. Skip pass, Willie Foster. Rebound, Carson Parker. Yeah, that's one thing you give up. A little harder, especially with good, you know, with the ball reversed like that. Tough to get into good rebounding position. 14-point Thunderbird lead. Three minutes into quarter number two. Escorn goes to the rim. His leaner goes in. David Escorn's in the book. Back to the 2-3 zone. Go the Bulldogs. 
Shots a bit hard. Krim wrestles the rebound away, and he did so with Burke going through him. Yes, he did. And, you know, right now that's uh, two out of three possessions, you know, and even there the third possession was a rebound tip and, a, you know, put back. So, you know, they're probably going to stick with that zone for a little bit. It's probably doing them, it's doing them well. Wash does have his uniform taken care of and returns. Koval looking inside to Krim. Koval lost his balance. Trying to work against Carson Parker. No, trying to work against Parker Judy who had checked in. That's one thing if you're Elida, you really want to capitalize. You've been able to hold them from scoring a couple possessions, uh, holding LCC from scoring. And, you know, you really want to capitalize on those. And Carson Parker stops and has a coach uh, talk with Coach Sean Powell coming up to Florida, set to play up. Pretty from the corner. Wash high for the rebound, battles for it, and it went out of bounds off of Parker Judy. Here comes Evan Jackson back into the game. Elida's doing a good job of you know, getting kids in, rotating kids in and out, and I think the pace of this game, I think that's going to be critical. That score spins into the lane. Floats another one in. He's got four in the quarter. Yeah, there's a football running back. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh -huh. Don't say no. I want that extra yard. Parker Judy out of the corner. Rebound the backside pretty. He's done a little bit of everything. You know, I could see him on that backside. You know, good rebounders on that backside. They're just hoping the ball's missed. They know where it's coming off, and that's exactly what he, Judy did. Evan Jackson, excuse me, Pretty did. Picks up the second foul to the free throw line, goes Jordan Pretty. His Web Insurance free throw agency free throw is a little bit long. He stays in a 12 point game. Wash into the lane. Shoots over the defender and scores. Amari Wash has seven now. Angelo Collins. Pretty pull up three. A bit hard. Battle for the rebound. I think Collins is going to get called for the foul. That was a tough shot, you know, coming, you know, going to his right, like, or going, excuse me, going to his left and, you know, having to stop on a dime and put that up. Collins' first foul, just the second team foul of the quarter for LCC. Three minutes to go here in the quarter. Kovald hands off to Etzkorn. Etzkorn trying to post up inside. Wash gets a look. Wow. Got another. That's a three-point field goal. He's got 10 now in the basketball game as he nails a lead. Same as Recipe Chicken, three-point field goal. Parker Judy out of the corner. Yep. Three-pointer for him. Our three-point field goals are sponsored today by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call them for all your catering needs. Home style happens here. Tamar Foster gets it blocked by Wash. Battle for it. Pretty goes up. Collins goes up. This is not a place to, for the faint-hearted in the lane right no, now. No, it is not. That is right in front of us, and wow. We're going to take a media timeout. 2.08 to go and before halftime. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Timeouts today are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Whoa, yep. guess who's feeling it now? Amari Wash with eight and a quarter, including two three-point field goals, has cut the lead to seven. Parker Judy gets another look. Etzkorn rebounds. Elida trying to get into it before halftime. Once again, the zone has done them well. 
Koval spins into the lane. Battle for the rebound. Krim gets it down. He's off to Wash. He's got another basket. 15 for Wash on a good pass. And Wash gets a steal, but it's called for the foul. <laughs> Samari washes a second foul and will be free throw time. And our free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. And to the free throw line will go Jordan Pretty. Seventeen for him. And again, that is a sophomore. It is a sophomore who does not play. Like no, a he does not. Listed at six two. Just you can really see the confidence in him. You know, not mm -hmm. just from the shot, but you know when he goes to take a shot. You know, he, he just hey, it's going in. That stems the tide of a good uh, Elida run that had cut the lead to five. That bumps it back to seven. That's corn. Krim trying to post up inside against Burke. Works, works, and Burke grabbed him, and it's on the floor. Billy Burke will pick up foul number two. You know, once again, you know, it's not for the lighthearted yes. on the inside there. Here comes Angelo Collins into the basketball game, the 6'5 junior to replace Burke, since Burke has those two fouls. And Wash will be the trigger person. Lob to Jackson, to Etzcorn. Under a minute to go. Wash, bothered by Quatman. Here's Etzcorn. Spin move, up strong, draws a lot of contact on the ball. Bodies on the floor, and held ball situation. This one will favor Elida. A lot of bodies on the floor, oh and you boy. save yourself a possession. 35.2 to go. Just thinking, Jerry, we have to give a Stolly Hustle Award winner. <laughs> <laughs> Name somebody that hasn't yeah, hustled right. this game. Yeah, right. Koval into the lane. Runner goes off the backboard. No. T-Birds will get the last shot of uh, the first half. Back to the zone. Go to the Bulldogs. It's been helpful to them here in the second quarter. Yeah, it has. They've been able to cut, what, a 12 or 14 point lead down to five at one time, and now we're at seven. Parker's gonna get a high ball screen. Carson Parker, pull up jumper. Wash knocks it away from Collins. Heads up play by him. And the opening 16 minutes are in the book. LCC 39, Elida 32. Second half coming up after this. Watch High School Basketball, WSN. We're back at the Elida Fieldhouse, the Union Bank Court. Mark Schein and Jerry Snodgrass. Jerry, it's kind of a special day here. It's the induction banquet day for the Elida Hall of Fame. They put three quality people in. Kelly Edwards graduated in 1977 after winning nine varsity letters. Cindy Baker is a 1990 graduate involved in the basketball program, softball here as well. And Quinn Poling, who graduated in 2013, lettered in football and track, and congratulations to them. That's quite an honor. It is, and you know, I remember some of them, of course. You oh, know, yeah. I mean, uh, hard to believe that it's been that long, but you know, the other thing, and I, I really commend Elida for this, is you know, you're talking about a 1970 grad or 77 grad. You're talking about somebody from the 90s. They don't forget, and I, yeah. I'm glad. A lot of places you see they hire, you know, they put somebody in that two years ago or something, and I'm right. glad to see that. You That's know. an absolute fact, yep. Well, we are at halftime, LCC 39, Elida 32. LCC's had quarter scores of 21 and 18 for their 39 points. They are led in scoring by Jordan Pretty. And Jerry, what a half he had at 18 in the first half. Yes, he did, and you know, just, just good looks at the basket, extre and extremely confident. I think the zone kind of slowed them down a little bit here, end of the first half. Elida has quarter scores of 16 and 16. They are led in scoring by Amari Wash. 
Our premier sponsor is John Stocker DDS for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans, and we appreciate their support. And quarter number three is in action. And good to see Zori Island back in the game after his three fouls. Took him out of much of the second quarter. Pass to Burke. I think I saw a lot of passes this past winter that went from Carson Parker to Billy Burke. <laughs> yes, you're right about that. That one got two points and not six. You know, not to be slighted, you know, talked in that first half of the scoring, you know, but you also have to look at Wash had 15 in that first half. That's scoring pull-up jumper. He's got six. Each team has a basket. Three-point shot out of the corner. <laughs> Pretty starts off this half like he did the opening half. His fifth three-point field goal sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Seth Sharp pull-up jumper. Rebound Island. Zori Island baseline. Tried to pass it inside. Krim with those strong hands. Snatched it out of trouble and then lost it out of bounds. And that was great defense because he yeah. saw Island was going to pass that, you know, and just played it. That he knew he was buried on the baseline. Ten-point lead. Thunderbirds as Burke inbounds to Damar Foster. Each team going with their starting lineup here in quarter number three. Carson Parker. Bounce pass inside, Burke tries to spin baseline. Good body defense by Parker Krim. Damar Foster gets a look at three, short. Rebound, Willie Foster. Willie passes what a to nice Burke, pass. yeah, absolutely. Billy Burke has a dime dropped in his lap and he scores. Sometimes people underestimate the ability of a player like Burke to be able to see that coming and hang on to it. And Willie Foster just ripped a rebound down. DeMar Foster, excuse me. Cross-court pass is tipped out of bounds. You just tell these guys, but actually both teams, for LCC and especially in the offensive end, tell how much ball they've played together. You know, they just know where everybody's at. They're always expecting a pass to come to them. Here's that zone that DeMar Foster's looking at. Are you going to try to pull them out of that? Yeah. Well, it has that look to it, doesn't it? It does a little bit. Zori Island going to come out and challenge and almost got a steal. You know, so often you see got this. Got him out you know, of it. Yep. You'll say you'll see that, you'll see a turnover come out of it, you know, just an unforced one. Willie Foster wow. explodes to the rim. Willie Foster has six in the game now. What a save by Carson Parker. Yeah. And right to Wash, who goes up and scores. Amari Wash with 17 now. We're going to get a timeout. Elida, 5.07 to go in the third. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. A quick Matt Taylor timeout. Yes, it is. You know what? I've got I've got our Stolly narrowed down to about 12. Do you? Yeah. Holy cow, just that last that, save. That, and You know, that's one thing I really appreciate about Carson Parker. So yes. last night he affects the game because he has 24 points. Today he's only got four points. He's rebounded. He's defended. He's made hustle plays like yeah. what we just saw. Yep. He and affects I, the game in so many yeah. ways. I think that sometimes, you know, obviously viewers and, you know, fans a lot of times will look just at the scoring. They'll just look at a dunk, you know, but you need a player like that that's so capable of so many other things. Elida comes out with some zone pressure and almost got to the 10 count before Thunderbirds broke it. Burke in the lane again, left-handed shot, and Krim high for the rebound. Island pull-up jumper, Zori bangs one in. He's got seven in the game now. Such a smooth player. Stops on a dime and elevates. Well, they've got it back to 10. They've got it as low as five in the second quarter. It's 10 now as we're approaching the halfway point of quarter number three. Yeah. 
Story Island with a steal. Wow. What a play he just made. Here he is in a hurry, and he gets run off the ball, and it's knocked out of bounds by Pretty. And there's some good sportsmanship, yeah, Jerry. Is. We always you appreciate know, that. I, I love that. Two rivals, you know, so yep. close together. Kids know, players know each other, you know. They know each other well. And, you know, you saw that. They had a little sportsmanship presentation at the start of the game, too. And that was, that's, that's impressive. Zori Island. Never underestimate our kids, I tell you. Amari Wash accepts a screen from Parker Krim, gets into the lane, battles for the rebound, but Willie Foster grabs it. Willie Foster into the lane, tipped his own rebound back, and Etzcorn goes high for the rebound for the Bulldogs. To the rim, Zori Island yep. will draw a foul. And as hard as we played in this quarter, that's the first foul and we're under four <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Island's been a, been a big factor in this quarter. Zori Island is a 73% free throw shooter on the season. And he makes a Web Insurance free throw. Web Insurance Agency is serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Eight points for Zori. And the left-hander gets another look. That also is good. And the lead's down to eight. Right away, Lida picks up full court, three-quarter court maybe, but... Soft pass, almost got stolen. And we're going to get yep. a Sean Powell timeout because he saw a 10-second count coming. 3.28 to go here in quarter number three. It's a Mexican Financial Services timeout. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Thank you, Mark, because with zero-degree weather, I'm uh, looking forward to that outdoor furniture. And you know, they've got some of those things got heaters in them. Yes. And you can, you can live outdoors yep. in those things. Foster gets it taken away from him by Zori Island. Zori. Splits the defense, up off glass, a bit hard. Krim high for the rebound. He muscles up. Krim another rebound and muscles up again. Oh. Wow. Yeah. What a workhorse on the inside. How does a, a young man that big jump that right. well and that quickly? Pretty, ball fakes, goes to the rim and gets it swatted out of bounds. Contact on the baseline there. Both coaches want a foul. <laughs> Burke will re-enter. Jackson Kovalt will re-enter. Seth Sharp will re-enter. Well, if they wanted the crowd back into it, they got it. You know, a good crowd. Saturday yeah, afternoon, yes. a really nice crowd here at Elida. Congratulations to both schools for supporting their teams. Burke knocked away by Evan Jackson. Who what just great entered. defense. Here's Zori Island to the rim. Island scores wow. and will go and wow. one. Do you see him control his body? That he did right in front of us. There was a warning on their bench, and I don't know what. And it wasn't on their bench. He actually said something to the Elida bench. Looking to see who the foul was assessed to. I think it went to Billy Burke. Free throw's a bit long. Koval got a hand on it. Wash is trying to track it down, and... Yeah, I think uh, DeMar Foster was, was out, of bounds. Us, yeah. out of bounds. So it's at six points, and Elida gets the basketball. Lobbed into the backcourt. Amari Wash, talented sophomore. Gets inside. Burke gets a hand on it and did a great job of yes, blocking it to himself. Here's Pretty. 
Jordan pretty to the rim. He's got 23 in the game. And we're going to get a lane yeah. violation. How about the play by Billy Burke? Unbelievable. He doesn't just swat it out of bounds like a lot of guys do. He tipped it to himself on the block shot. So that's just such great basketball court sense. It is. You, know, you see so many people just block it and be happy with it. Crowd cheers. Everybody goes nuts. No, no, no. Get the ball back, too. T-Birds trying to get the lead back to double figures. Pretty for three. <laughs> 26 in the game as he nails a Lee's famous recipe chicken three-point field goal. I've got him for six of those, Jerry. Hey, if there's a part of the chicken given for every one oh of that, my. we've got about three <laughs> whole chickens now. Willie Foster accepts a screen. And he goes to the rim. Willie Foster off wow. glass. Wow, Willie Foster's got eight now. We're going to get a timeout, 1.37 to go. Timeout for us, too. LCC by 12. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. We've seen a bunch of three-point field goals today, and they've been sponsored by Lee's Famous Rescue Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Rescue Chicken, where home style happens here. Jerry Snodgrass, there's going to be some tired young men when this is over. There really are. And you know, the atmosphere here is great. You mentioned both communities you know, supporting. We talked about this about, you know, this is a Saturday afternoon game. Yes. When we coached in the old days, we wouldn't have dreamt um, of playing play, on Saturday. That's night. correct. You know, and I think that's one of the things, COVID, coming out of COVID, when, hey, let's, we'll play any time we can play. We've become a lot more flexible. Yeah. We and I, I think, you know, there's that's the good thing, you know, that's come out of that. Let's just play. And I think it's put a little bit better focus on, Hey, play for the game. Play the game for what it's supposed to be played the for. The scoreboard was corrected at that timeout. There was a three-point field goal a moment ago that was originally put on the scoreboard as just two. So it's 55-42, Lima Central Catholic. And they've come out 1-3-1 one, one zone. I don't know why they would ever put a two up for him. Yeah. Island bounce pass, pass inside, and he finds Seth Sharp who scores. That was a great pass. And a good backdoor cut against the zone. 11 point lead, T Birds. Good recognition coming out of that timeout to recognize and take your time to get the good one. Foster again. Pretty with the rebound, and we'll go to the free throw line. I'm going to have to get a bigger score sheet next time I do a Jordan Pretty game. You know, you were talking, you know, uh, before the game started about all the great sophomores in this oh, area. Oh, my goodness. You're right. We got two of them here today, Pretty and Wash. Bounces that one in. That's point .27 for the young man who averages 17 a game. Talk about having a great weekend. Had 24 last night against Spencerville. He's at 27 with at least nine minutes to go in this game. I don't teach math, but I think his average is going up. I think it probably is. 28 for him now, thanks to the Web Insurance free throws. And the lead goes back to 13, and LCC goes back to their 1-3-1 zone. Wash inside and gets whacked across the wrist. Shooting foul? Nope, put it on the floor, I th think. The foul went to Angelo yep. Collins, Angelo's second, third team foul. That was a good job that time, too, of penetrating that zone. You know, sometimes that's not easy to do, but just took his time. and Sharp works, works, works. Get the shot up. Nope. Rebound tipped to Pretty. <laughs> Willie Foster on the baseline finds DeMar. And Willie goes baseline again, gets cut off by Sharp. I think Coach Powell says we want last shot of the corner. Yeah. It's been a good one for us. You know, I can really tell Coach Powell's put a lot of confidence in these players. You know what? You can just tell that, you know, they, they listen to him and, you know, they're, they're, a lot of their confidence is instilled by him. And Willie Foster held the ball a little bit too long on that dribble, got called for a five-second count. Here comes Island back in the game with 12.2 to go in quarter. Number three, a basket here would be very beneficial for Elida momentum-wise heading to the fourth. Koval 
Lost it to Pretty, pretty ahead. DeMar Foster was ready to shoot it and lost it yes, out of bounds. Yes, he was. He had that one loaded up. Yep. Thought the buzzer was going to sound the second he launched it and just took his eyes off Just of a it. second to go here in quarter number three. That will bring Quatman back into the game. And we saw about a three-quarter court, if not further, oh, JV shot, you know, that went in. and JV game today was won by LCC by 10. Thunderbirds lead the varsity game by 13 as we head to the fourth. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. And John Stocker, DDS, is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. Lima Central Catholic with an 18-point third quarter to 12 for the Elida Bulldogs, and they will take a 13-point lead to the fourth. Mark Shine and Jerry Snodgrass here. And I don't, I don't know, you know, even though LCC outscored them in that quarter, I, Elida still played a great quarter. Jordan Pretty with 28, Amari Wash with 19. And there's Wash to the rim. Carson Parker rebounds. Parker handling the ball out front. This is Burke. Pretty pass inside to Burke. Blocked by Krim. Burke battling for it and lost it out of bounds off a of Bulldog. What a nice pass, though. <laughs> great defensive play to block that, but, you know, what a great pass. Elida goes to Defiance on Friday night. LCC goes to Salina on Tuesday. Next action for these two teams. Damar Foster way out top. And now to Carson Parker, who goes to the rim. And left-handed shot finishes. A little hesitation dribble going in there. And everybody stopped and opened the lane for him. He's got six. And the lead goes to 15. Wash was headed to the rim and was fouled. That will go to DeMar Foster. DeMar second, first of the quarter. Seth Sharp will enter. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Down to seven minutes to go with this 15-point lead. Island pull-up jumpers block. Seth Sharp swooped in to grab the rebound. It got pushed out of bounds. Here's the foul. Good call on that. You know, he was in the air and timed it just right and got bumped out of bounds. Carson Parker picks up his second foul. Island lobs it out on top to Etzkorn. Sharp working inside. Escorn. Pull up jumper from 12 for him. Nope. And pretty tips the ball himself in the corner. Steal. Zori Island measuring things. Zori Island was back there just eyeing that, you know, hoping he'd throw it. Free safety. Yep. It's Wash. Setting an offensive play here. Island on the wing. Etzkorn, pull up jumper, David Etzkorn. Rebound, Carson Parker in a hurry. And we got an offensive foul. Carson Parker ran over Amari Wash. His third. Boy, I really, I really like Amari Wash. You know what I mean? Yep. He just does a little bit of everything. Here's the 1-3-1 one, one zone again from the T-Birds. That's corner in the corner. Island bounce passes across the lane, and Willie Foster tipped it to Burke. 
That's what you want your backside yes, wing to do. Yes, it is. Three ball. Back of the rim. Foster high for the rebound. And what's the call? Did Foster knock it out of bounds? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they Parker called. Parker Krim is down. He's going to hop up and... I'm not sure he's going to be able to play. He's got a lower leg yeah. injury on that right side, doesn't he? Yeah, and you know what? I, I was going to mention him earlier. We talked about his rebounding inside and yep. his jumping ability. He's just a workhorse on that inside. He certainly is. He's telling Koval I can stay in the game, but Koval's already at the scorer's table, and uh, I'm going to take him out and take a look at that on the sideline. Two and a half minutes into quarter four. Bulldogs have not scored yet in the quarter. Island and Wash trying to find a hole in this zone. Koval pull up jumper from the baseline. Oh, rattled out for him. Burke with a one-handed rebound. He's held Seth Sharp off. And you know right now, they've gotten good looks at it. They're just not dropping to the rim, missed it. Rebound, that's Korn. He's going to hurry the other way. That's Korn. Kick balls kicked by Carson Parker. Under five to go. And you know, some of this, I think, you know, it, and it's not, trust me, it's nobody out of shape. It's just the pace of the game. And I think that's, that's thrown shooting off just a little bit and, here and in the fourth quarter. Back to back nights as well. Yep. yep. Less than 24 hours apart. Again, it has nothing to do with being in shape. It just has to do with fatigue of a game. Zori Island worked his way to the inside and will draw a foul on a T-Bird. Just like that, you know, fighting through that. And even though he gets fouled, how much energy that takes, you know, to go up with a body hanging on you, and that just drains you. Billy Burke becomes the first player in foul trouble today with four. Our free throws today are brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lyman Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Story Island becomes a double-figure scorer now with 10. Burke's going to take a seat on the bench for a few moments anyway as Angelo Collins replaces him. Story Island back of the rims at Carson Parker with yet another rebound. That's scoring and Parker out front. Tamar Foster. Thunderbirds consent, content to take a little time off the clock. Willie Foster looked inside for a moment, heads to the rim. Koval rebounds. He's in a hurry the other way. Bounce pass. Nice That's score. A great pass. What a nice finish. Pass. Etzcorn finishes. David's got eight in the game off an assist from Jackson Koval. There's 4.09 to go. Eli takes a timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Timeout called by the Eli Bulldogs. They've got two remaining. Our timeouts today are brought to you by Mexico Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Well, Jerry, we got, uh, you know, right around that, uh, what, the three-minute mark, 409 to go here, and you're trying to make one more run at him. Yeah, and, you know, I think the last couple of times, too, that uh, LCC has shown some good patience. Like, hey, listen, we've got the lead. We've got the ball. We're not holding it, but we're going to get a good shot. Clock Four. becomes their, their, their the enemy of – Elida right now. I know a lot of time, but when you're on offense in the ball, if you're LCC, you do a lot with a possession. Full court pressure, ball thrown ahead, and it went over the head of Jordan Pretty. Willie Foster had him open, but he just sailed it a little bit high. A couple of sophomores going to play a few years together. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to seeing these guys in the in the future too. Story Island directing traffic out front. Etzcorn. Etzcorn wanted to get a three look, but pretty jumped out to him, so he goes to the rim where it's blocked by Collins. Carson Parker in a hurry the other way. 
He had DeMar Foster in the corner, and DeMar turned down the three-point opportunity, and so did Willie. Yeah, and see right Patience. there, he's using the yep. clock. Coaching. Yeah, that certainly is. DeMar Foster, and back to Carson Parker. He will be fouled by Amari Wash. That's Amari's third. Talked about him turning down three-point field goals. Our three-point sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Just the first foul here in quarter number four. Here's our new foul rule, Jerry, because they're going to come after him really yeah. hard now and foul several times before we put him on the line. Willie Foster to DeMar in the corner. DeMar goes baseline, missed it. Rebound, Angelo Collins, and also tied up inside with Seth Sharp, and we're going to go the other way with the foul on Angelo Collins, his third. And I just think the physicalness of this game, you know, the last several possessions, even they've had some good looks in there. They're coming up short. You know, it's just, I think, the the exhaustion that's on the court. This could be a benefit now for Elida because that's the fifth team foul, and because of that, Elida gets to shoot free throws here on this one. Seth Sharp will go to the free throw line. He's got a basket back in quarter number two, or quarter number three for two points. And every single time, that clock is stopped. A little hard for Seth. Burke comes back in with 2.59 to go. Billy's got 4,008 points tonight. Seth Sharp makes that one. Webb Insurance free throw, and Jackson Kovalt gets called for a foul as DeMar Foster had a leg bashed him and had to push him out of bounds. Good foul, really. Yeah, it really was. Second foul on Jackson Kovalt. Just a second team foul here in quarter number four. Elida showing a half-court trap now. Burke had it taken away. Wash, Amari to the rim and overshot it. He avoided Foster and couldn't yeah. score. And he comes right back and fouls Carson Parker. That will be Amari Wash's fourth Yeah, that's foul. his fourth. That's a problem. He was so intent on evading Willie Foster that he missed a shot. Really nice move, just couldn't it get sure the ball was. to drop. DeMar Foster. Sorry, Island's got I, three fouls. Carson Parker, DeMar Foster, Billy Burke. Burke. They're going to get him. Yep. yep. Going to get him. As he went to the floor, he traveled. Angelo Collins will hop off the bench. Probably playing a little offense, defense, because yeah, Burke's got are. four fouls. Elida needs to make up an 11-point deficit in a little over two minutes. They've got just four points here in the quarter. Here's Wash. Blocked by Collins. That's why he came in. Yeah. Here. Willie Foster. Here comes Koval to trap Escorn as well. Bounce pass inside Collins, and Angelo missed. That's scoring high for the rebound. Zori Island. Stolen by Carson Parker. He heads to the rim and finishes wow. on the run. Off balance. After a steal, Carson Parker scores points seven and eight, pushes the lead to 13. You know, I look at him, points seven and eight. He could have 30, exactly. and he's that talented. And I give him and, and credit that he, you know what I mean, he's done everything else. He does so many other things to help the team out. Ball goes out of bounds. We'll stay with Elida. Good to see Parker Krim coming back in the game. Concerned yeah. about that knee. Glad he's healthy enough to play. So are a, a lot of football coaches, <laughs> especially those here at Elida. Boy, doesn't that show you, though, I mean, you know, as, as – yeah, great looking defensive lineman, you know, yep. and everything. But 
but take a look at him and how much basketball does for him. Well, I just speaks volumes from Jerry, all sport the, athletes. The, the best offensive lineman that I have seen played for Ohio State. Yep, I know exactly. Orlando Pace. Yep. Coached against him. And he was one fine basketball yep. player as well. Yep. Remember the uh, basketball looked like a marble in oh. his hands. Just had the softest touch. I, I saw him at Bowling Green University make about an eight-foot jump shot and sprint to the other end of the floor and block a shot out of bounds. Yep. Just a, a, an incredible athletic play. Here's that scoring to shoot free throws. Wait a minute. That might have been against my team. Uh. <laughs> That score makes the first. He's got nine in the game now. I just look at that. I, I say to myself, you know, like, why, why wouldn't you want to play? Exactly. I mean, I mean well, he, he's obviously, how much does that help your athletic skills? The correct. footwork and the, the coordination, your ball skills. Right. Would you rather do this or be in a weight room all the time? I, I mean, mean, you know, you've you got get, time to be in the weight sure room. You sure do. Escorn becomes a double figure scorer with 10, knocks the lead to 11. With 66 seconds to go. Cross court pass to DeMar Foster. Elida just three team fouls. Yeah, they're going to have to get him. Yeah. Parker oh, Krim gets to. a steal. And Pretty fouls him. Yeah, How about the hands yeah. of the big guy? Parker Krim has not scored today, but he has had an effect on the basketball game in a positive way for his team. Now he's going to get a couple of free throws here. Tells you, doesn't it, that it's more than just scoring. It absolutely is. Parker Krim has struggled at the free throw line this year. Let's see what he does with these two web insurance agency free throws. Nice looking shot, though. You yeah, know, that's yep. the thing. And Scorn steps in to help his teammate out a little bit psychologically and that one goes off the side of the rim. Willie Foster high for the rebound. Foster dribbles through traffic, secures it himself, and will be fouled by Parker Krim. Yep. That's just his first foul today with the yeah. war that's going on inside, <laughs> and he only has one foul. How about that? That will be the last foul of the basketball game. That is not a shooting foul because Elida now has four with 39.4 to go. Into the backcourt, the ball goes to DeMar Foster. Escorn with a steal. David to the rim and floated it over the rim and missed a shot. You know, he was caught. He was. He was you could just see it, couldn't you? You could see it in his eyes. Do I put it on the board or do I go over the rim? Etzcorn will pick up a foul. That is just David's first foul of the game today. He didn't have a, you know, he wasn't at a real good right. angle to use the board. Here's Willie Foster at the free throw line. He is two for four there today. As he shoots the Web Insurance Agency free throws. Bit short. 26.6 to go in this one. We've got our Stally Hustle Award winner coming up in a moment when this game comes to an end. That's a hard decision to make today. Yeah. <laughs> Foster again, and that one bounces out as well. Rebound to Zori Island to head to Wash. Amari to the rim, and we'll get called for an offense. He's fouls. He runs over Jordan Pretty. Now, how many guys who've got uh, 28 yeah. in the basketball game are going to step in and take a charge? Correct. That becomes Amari Wash's fifth foul of the day, and he will foul out with a very fine 19-point effort today. And, you know, and not only a 19-point effort, but a great effort on the defensive end as well. Yes, absolutely. Very talented sophomore. And... Call a warning for reaching over? Or? Well, they gave the ball to oh, yeah, Elida, so I'm not sure exactly what the call was. Must have stepped over. Perhaps. Island looks, finds Eben Jackson, and who hit that one out of bounds? It Ooh. will go to LCC. I think that should be Elida's ball. Well, we've got a little official conference about it. Yeah. 
Yep, they changed it. Good officials do that. And that's why there's three of them out there. Let's get together and make sure we get it right. Yep. Glad to see that. Seth Sharp inbounds. Evan Jackson trying to get around Burke and couldn't. Good job defensively, Billy Burke with four fouls. Took that baseline away and had nowhere to go. Zori Island out front with DeMar Foster and Carson Parker will hold on to the basketball. And the LCC Thunderbirds will snap a two game losing streak and they will do so today with a 61 to 50 victory over the very game and very hard fought basketball game and the Elida Bulldogs. Well, Jerry, we, we talked a lot about our Stolly Hustle Award winner today. You can check out the highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner and do so on the WOSN YouTube page. And today we decided, I mean, it was, Everybody played hard today, but because of his impact on the game, scoring the basketball, we decided to go with Jordan Pretty today. Yeah, you know, when I say it, it wasn't an easy decision. You it know, was not. We all look at points. I mentioned that earlier, but, boy, you talk about an effort. And I will say this, from both teams, that was just a, a, an aggressive, great game to watch, great game to call. Elida will drop to 9-4 and four on the season. They had quarter scores today of 16, 16, 12, and 6. They will drop to nine and four. They will be two and two in the Western Buckeye League. They were led in scoring today by Amari Wash. He had 19, also 10 points today from David Etzcorn. Sean Powell's team will go to 12 and two. Their quarter scores today were 21, 18, 18, and four. Said a moment ago, Jordan Pretty was their leading scorer today with 28. But then if you look at it, Burke's got eight, Carson Parker's got eight, six from DeMar Foster, so they spread it around well today. Yes, they did. And no, you know, only four in that final quarter, but that's where those early runs, you know, just made the big difference. Our, our sponsors today, Ultimate Outdoor, Web Insurance Agency, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Metzger Financial Services, Dr. John Stocker, DDS, and Stolly Insurance. I want to thank Dave Evans, the athletic director here came by and talked to us today here on Hall of Fame Day here at Elida. Our crew today, Grace Beck, did the camera work along with Nick Fraley, and Nick will take this back to the station and edit it all together. LCC goes on to a 12-2 record and do so with a 61-50 victory over the Elida Bulldogs. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.